Hey guys, Belen with Art and Whimsy here today, and I'm going to share with you how I'm using the December Coco Daisy Kit Nordic Woods. Now, I love this kit, and I had a, I'm kind of bummed because I had a knee injury, and it really kept me out of my studio for a while, and um, I wasn't able to enjoy this kit as much as I really wanted to, but um, I am getting better, and I'm spending some time in my studio today to share with you some memory keeping and I'm going to use this kit. So I've shared memory keeping posts before, but I haven't really done a blog post about it or a video and I've gotten some questions. So I thought I would answer those questions here and share my process with you. So to start, I always use an HP sprocket printer. Now I have an Instax printer as well and that does have its purpose and sometimes I use it, but for the most part, I tend to use my sprocket for memory keeping. So I have already printed out some photos and I'm just gonna do a quick layout to show you guys, you know, what I use and how I do it. So we recently, Patrick and I, went to Universal Studios and we go every year and I was really bummed because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to go this year, but we didn't let that stop us. And it's amazing how how um, injury friendly that part can be with, you know, the use of scooters or uh, front of the line passes. So it, we went, managed to have a great time, even though I was really only able to last a few hours. But I got some fun photos and I like to incorporate things like that into my into my setup. So that's what I'm going to do here today. So I create. um like places to put photos, either using some of the uh, bigger pocket cards or sometimes like if I use the paper from the kit to make dividers, I'll just put photos onto the back of that. So I just kind of tuck them in wherever, you know, wherever's handy, wherever I feel like it. So right here, I'm going to, um, this is one of the pocket cards. I'm gonna put a couple of photos here, but I wanted to show you, um, so I have my little bag here that came with the Nordic, Nordic Woods kit. And in here I keep, you know, the supplies that I use for memory keeping, like basic supplies. Like I'll have some, um, some pocket cards. I have some of those. I keep a tiny attacher because sometimes I just want to staple things in. I keep, um, let's see what else is in here. Of course, Cocoa Daisy pen. A metal ruler that I use to tear my washi. This is the Sharpie pen that I always use, these type of pens, for um, like memory keeping, journaling in there in the in my planner. And then I use a tape runner. So sometimes I keep um, ink pad, like if I'm traveling, I'll add to this kit and I'll add an ink pad and some basic stamps. Something like this from Coco Daisy really comes in handy and I like to take these with me. So these are fun as well. And I will uh, always carry a set of alphas like these um, to use as well when I'm traveling. So that is what I use the pouch for. Now, here um, I have my washi and I just stuck it on a ring so that, you know, I can keep track of it. When I travel, I so a lot of times will take something like this with me. Otherwise, I'll just maybe get a scrap piece of paper, something like, let me see something like this, just a, a piece of paper that I have left over from, from making dashboards or dividers. I'll cut it down, I'll laminate it, and I basically just make a washi card out of it. And I can take my washi, wrap it around, I can tuck it right into my planner and take it with me. So I also do that. So for today, I am going to add in some of these photos from, um, from Universal Studios. So I think I'm gonna just use this card that's here and I'm gonna pick up some of the blues. Sometimes, you know, I, I just kind of have fun with it. I don't always give it a whole heck of a lot of thought, but I thought this was a funny photo that I took of us when we were in line for the Harry Potter ride. And I used obviously a Snapchat filter because that's not what we look like. But, um, so I'm gonna use this photo and maybe, maybe a, Oh, this is perfect. It says it was that kind of day. So that's super cute. And then I just like layer it in here. I try to make sure, you know, that it's not going to go off the paper. And if it is, that it doesn't go too much off the edge just because I don't want it to get like to snag on stuff. But 
this is fine. And I just put my photo in here, kind of position where I want it. Sometimes if I'm not gonna use like a journal card, I will also use um, scraps of paper that I've trimmed, something like this, that would be cute. So I do things like that as well. Sometimes I use the notepad that comes with the kit because um, a lot of times we get these really cute notepads and this makes for awesome um, paper for layering. You can trim it down a bit, you can add your photo, so that's another cute option. Okay, um, as I show you this, you can also use like the tags that come with the kit, things like that, that's fun. So just have fun with it, you know, layer, layer things. So I am gonna use that one just because I think it's fitting. And I am going to take my tape runner, which believe it or not, I've already misplaced. And here it is, and my pouch, okay. So I'm gonna take my tape runner, and I am quickly going to just, that's cute. I love that, um, I think most of the time, if not always, the pocket cards, yeah, they have, they're double-sided, so that's always super cute. I love that. I subscribe to that kit because I really like it, or that add-on, I should say. Okay, so I am going to, I just kind of try to be careful that I'm not messing with the holes since I'm using a ring, a ring planner. I don't want to like obstruct the holes too much, so that should be okay. And then this paper that comes or that you use for the sprocket printer, it's actually um, adhesive on the back if you peel this off, but it kind of takes a lot of work to peel it off. And so I just you don't usually mess with it. I'll again, just use my tape runner. Sometimes I'll use a glue stick as well. That, that also works. So I am gonna put us in here. And then I'm gonna take some of the die cuts that come with the kit. And I love that everything is coordinated. So, you know, it kind of takes the guesswork out of things. So this says, remember December, that would be cute. Um, let's see. This says, ring in the new year. No, not that one. Um, maybe that little guy. I have some pink in that photo. If I'm able to pick it up, I will. If not, I don't really worry about it too much. Let's see what I can do. And sometimes I just get crazy and start adding stuff all over the place. And uh, I just kind of play with it until I decide if I like it or not. Like, I don't know. I might like that. I might not. But playing with it and just seeing where it goes, it's kind of half the fun. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this little guy's cute. But maybe we have too much of that. So I'm kind of looking for, let's see, that says cookie coma. I love the variety of um, of die cuts and things that are included with the kits. Now I do subscribe to several of the kits. This is not all just from one because uh, I cannot make up my mind and I love them all. And um, I figure why not? So I guess I'm going to, holy jolly Mary, that one's kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. So see, I mean, I don't really worry too much about like, oh, did I want that? I don't worry too much about like composition. I mean, I eyeball it, you know, and I make sure that it, it looks okay, at least for me. But um, I don't stress about it too much. Let's see where I can put this so I don't like totally obstruct my face. That might work right there. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive to this um, tree since the tree I'm actually tucking behind that photo let's see okay and since I already added adhesive here maybe I'll just use that and let's see if that fits I think that fits so guess what we're adding this one right up here okay literally that easy I finished it and that took me like what a minute I don't know two minutes it's super fun and it's super easy so don't be afraid to add photos to your um, to your planner setups whether you're in a ring 
uh, planner like I am, whether you're in a TN, you know, whatever. Um, also, if you don't want to add memory keeping into your planner, of course, uh, Coco Daisy sells their memory keeping kit, which is also great. I obviously, like I said, I haven't done anything really for the month of December because of my knee, but um, I still, I still wanted to add some into my my planner setup just because I usually do that and it's fun you know you're flipping through checking off your to-do items going over your lists and then you as you're flipping through you come across a photo something that kind of brings a smile to you because it's a good memory and, and that's always fun so if I wanted I could journal in here I might put the date I might even stamp the date with like a roller stamp that's that's good too and then I just kind of flip to someplace else. I'm going to go back to this, um, this page here and I don't know what I will add. Let's see. I am going to look through these photos. If you guys have never been to Universal Studios during, um, the, the holiday, like Christmas holiday, it's so awesome in the, in the Harry Potter place. I think it's called the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and we've been, I don't know, I think like the last four years maybe, and I love it. They make it snow. This time it didn't snow on us. I don't know why, but um, the show that they play on Hogwarts is spectacular. So this right here is actually a photo of Hogwarts during the show when they're um, putting all of these lights, and it moves, and the images flash across, and it's just, it is spectacular to watch. That's always fun. And then in that same um, world, which is, you know, what is it? Uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. There is a restaurant in there. And I mean, let's face it. Theme park food is never really awesome. But um, we had fish and chips in the, I don't know what it is. It's like the big restaurant that they have in there. And it was a really good, I got to tell you, we were super surprised at how yummy um, the fish and chips were. And of course, I had to have my butter beer because, you know, I can only get that there. So I have to take advantage. So here's the train um, that was there or that they have there. There's uh, the castle. And then, of course, entire Universal Studios is just decked out with Christmas lights and a lot of the Grinch theme. So that's really fun. And I think, hmm. I think what I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do this. I took another one, this is kind of a close up of the castle right as the show was about to start. So you can see the difference. So see here, there's no, like the light show isn't, isn't um, being put onto the castle yet. And here it's like all lit up. At one point it looks like it's made of ice. It's really cool. So, I think I do want this photo in here, and I do want that, but I'm not really sure. Let's see. I'm actually going to get my paper trimmer and trim this one down since I took it um, square. I'm going to trim it down so that I can put it in here as well. Let me see if I can just do that really quick. Trim this down. Maybe also because I originally got my start in um, traditional scrapbooking, like 12 by 12 scrapbooking. So even though I don't do that anymore, you know, I went from that to like pocket memory keeping and then memory keeping in a traveler's notebook. I guess because of that, I still love to incorporate it into my planners, even though I really don't do a whole lot of scrapbooking anymore. I still, I still enjoy memory keeping. So let's see here. I am going to put this, I hope you can, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like the neighbor is like weed whacking their yard, which is kind of weird because it's about to get dark outside. So, um, I am going to maybe, I'm not really sure how I'm going to put these in here. But maybe that's actually not going to work. Let's see. Um, well, I know I want this because I think it'd be fun. Maybe something like this. And maybe this isn't even going to work. But let's give it a shot. Let's 
let's see. Oh, actually, I like these lights and this kind of goes together. I think that's what we're going to do on this page. So I can either use paper trimmings. I can trim down other paper. I can use um, pocket cards. So when I'm making my inserts, I'm sorry, when I'm making my um, dividers or dashboards, I always save my paper trimmings so that I have them to use specifically for this. And even if I'm memory keeping in like the um, using the standard size memory keeping book, I still use that in there as well because it, it just comes in handy and their paper is so pretty. Why waste it? And again, double sided, which is super awesome. So, uh, oh, also, I'll show you. Hold on a second. I sometimes even just will take a photo. Let's see. Maybe this one, let's say. I don't know that I like that. Okay, let's say I take this one. Sometimes I just use my tiny attacher and just will give it a quick staple. Staple it down. Then you can put this in here. Maybe that's not the paper I should have used, but that's okay. Um, you can also trim it down to make it fit better. Um, you can add some washi. So let's see, I think for this guy, maybe I didn't want to staple him to this piece of paper just because it's gonna take up too much of my room. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it down. And yeah, I'm gonna trim it down with this and we will get that to fit in there in no time. all right I have my planner desk all set up for the holidays and I probably put a bit too much so I only have like so much planning space here on my actual desk all right so let's say I put this one in here maybe I'll tuck this one in behind it something like that maybe like that I guess and I am going to, oh, that would have been cute if I'd used that other side. Oh, well, I'm going to add some adhesive, stick this guy down here, and maybe this I'll put in like that. Okay, now you can also use washi. Let's say I wanted to add a bit of washi here to give it a uh, extra pop of color or something like that. I can take, let's take this, no, let's take this one. And I am going to just find, here we go. I'll show you why I love using um, a metal ruler. So let's say I just wanted to add a bit of washi there, just for fun. Oh, I would just use my metal ruler and it just cuts super easy. I can cut it at an angle, I can cut it straight. So I add that little piece of washi there. And let's say I wanted to add a little up here. I can actually tear that off. And if I wanted to trim it down, I might have gotten that a bit too small for my for my fingernails, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, there we go. And I think I'll just leave that one. It's not that big of a deal. And maybe I want to add just a little bit more, I don't know, maybe on this side. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what we do with die cuts. So this guy's cute. I kind of want to use this guy, but let's see. That's really cute. Maybe that can go here. Maybe this little guy can peek out from back there. This is cute. Mm, I don't know about that one. Let's see. Oh, I 
have actually more die cuts over here. This is a tree. So that could be cute if I could do that. And what is this? Ah, he's cute. Well, let's see. And like, for example, this one, let's say I don't want it to say cookie coma or it doesn't really fit with what I'm showing. You can always just like tuck it back here, tuck it behind, you know, if you want, well, I have adhesive there, but I'm not going to do it here because it's covering up too much of that photo. But what I'm saying is you can kind of use them, modify them. You can trim it down. So don't be afraid to, you know, modify these as you need to. How about eat, drink, and be merry? That's good for sure. But where to put it? Um, hmm, I don't want to cover up my butterbeer. Let's put that there for now. There's our life in pictures. That's kind of cute. Um, oh, that's cute, but it doesn't fit. So let's see what we have here. The best time of the year. I actually like that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll just stick it there. Well, what do you think? Um. I'm going to say no. Oh, this one's shorter. How about this? Fave. Okay. So I'm just going to use more adhesive and um, stick these down. So first I'm going to do my tree. Okay. A little more for this. And you can also use, um, obviously, um, like a glue stick. Glue stick works as well. And sometimes I do use that. I just find that a tape runner is a little bit easier. You know, it's less messy. And um, and uh, it's more, I don't know, I just like it. I guess easier for me to use. Okay, that will go there. Then I'll stick this little guy down. So you can add as many photos as you want. Um, it really is up to you. But I just wanted to show you guys my process and how I add photos in. So here is this one that we just did with the two photos. And then here's this one here. So I can keep going. I'll, I can add more in. And sometimes also what I do is I will take my hole punch, punch the holes in, and I'll do the journaling here that corresponds to the photos that I'm that I'm including. So that's always fun. And I love, I know I said it already, but I love that they're double-sided. So I hope that this kind of gives you an idea, um, you know, of how easy it is to add photos. I know a lot of people already do, but um, in case you were one of the ones that asked me questions, I think that I've covered everything. Um, I do have a video regarding, it's like a review or comparison video between the Instax and the Sprocket. So I'll try to remember to link it down below in the comments section um, so that you can check that out if you want. They're both good printers, but you know, just for the, the, the way I do it, it's more, it's helpful for me to have the, um, the sprocket and I feel that the the images are just a bit brighter and a, a bit more vivid um so again that's just my personal preference but um I encourage you to give it a go so have fun with it thank you very much for following along uh Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you again Merry Christmas <laughs>